Welcome back to another Foam Fix Friday. My name is Derek and today we're going to be going over a particular repair that you might have found yourself in need of and that is the proximity sensor assembly on an iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. When you go onto Mobile Centric's website you'll notice that there are a couple different proximity sensor assemblies that you can get. Some are programmable through I2C or JCID and then you have the premium but soldering is required. Now soldering this is actually really really simple. Even if you have zero soldering skills you can still accomplish this one because the proximity sensor portion itself is what's called through hole solder and in this case through hole as in line up the dots with the holes and add solder to it with an iron. Really straightforward, really simple, and the entire process can be done with just a soldering iron. Of course you'll want to have flux, wick, solder and something to clean up with isopropyl alcohol and q-tips for example but the process is pretty straightforward you can place the back side of the proximity sensor on top of the soldering iron and it doesn't even have to be on the tip the shaft itself can get, gets hot enough where you can solder from it as well and you simply place it on there all of the solder will melt and you'll be able to pull it off and then you simply have to line it up with the new proximity sensor flex and add solder. It's really straightforward because it's pretty much impossible to mess this up because the orientation can only go one way. The ambient light sensor however is a little bit more complicated to transfer over. That's why you have these programmers that allows you to copy from the original flex over. Now the only issue is the programming part of the programmable flexes aren't going to do you any good if the flex that you're pulling from is damaged. If the cable was cut, things like that, you won't be able to read the data off of the flex to copy it over. And soldering over the ambient line sensor does require a little bit more skills because you'll want to make sure you have the proper amount of solder, either that you've reballed using a stencil onto the sensor itself, or you've taken the time to really hone in the amount of solder that you leave on, the, on it without a stencil and on the flex so that you can get a proper solder. Keeping it the proper orientation, it's all quite critical, but it is fairly simple. So if you've run into this issue where you've damaged the prox or it's been damaged through and you need to replace it, it is that simple. You don't need crazy soldering skills to be able to do this. So I highly recommend investing in a cheap soldering iron or rework station so that you can start doing these things when they come in because the last thing that you want to have happen when you're working on an iPhone for somebody is to have something go wrong that you cannot correct. And so learning how to do this will help you when the time comes when either yourself or another tech damages the proximity sensor flex or it's damaged from the screen breaking or whatever, you'll be able to solve that issue and not have to tell them to go elsewhere. Well, that wraps up this video. Make sure you like and subscribe because every weekday I put out a video. Leave a comment below if there is a particular repair that you'd like to see. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.